Hi all, uh, welcome to Professor Bowtie's Arcanum Complete Mod. Thank you for checking out this video. This is a short description of a new mod for a very old game. I'm really not sure how many of you are actually going to be interested in a new mod for a 20 plus year old game, but I do know there are still so many people that are into Troika's flawed masterpieces. And Arcanum, I think, is probably the best and the most broken Maybe not the most broken, but probably the best of the games that they put out. And it's a real shame that it's still so clunky in so many ways. So first I have to say that this mod is built on the work of other modders, particularly the legendary Drog. However, my philosophy is a little different than some of these other modders. I, firstly, I've tried to get back to the core of the game mechanics to understand how the game works, so that I can manipulate the way that it works in order to... Uh, make it behave the way I want it to. Also, my philosophy is that, uh, of course, we don't want to make terribly drastic changes to the game, but there are so many aspects of this game that are just so stupid and broken, um, just so ridiculously unbalanced, that uh, they have to be replaced. They have to be completely overhauled. So I have made some drastic changes to this game, and I really do hope that they are for the better. I think they are. Um, so, the most important feature of this game, and the one for which I am most proud, that makes it stand out, is that this mod makes real-time viable. You can definitely play the game in real-time now. And actually, it's quite fun. Let me see if I can engage combat. So, real-time is totally functional, and, um, fun and engaging, and the reason that real-time works now is that all NPCs have had their health double and their fatigue triple. The reason for this, of course, is to make combat last longer, because they have a lot more health to spend and they don't fall down as quickly. This includes the PC. Um, I've also reduced all speed by 40%. So all NPCs and the player character have 40% less speed. So you notice I have 9 decks, I only have 3 speed. And this is because I have low strength and I'm carrying a lot of junk. So in this version of the game, stats and encumbrance make a big difference. But this makes for a much more enjoyable combat. Um, other changes to point out are weapons. I've completely uh, changed the stats for all weapons, ranged and melee. Fastest weapons now are daggers, but they have lower damage, um, which I think is realistic. Next would be swords and pistols. Tech items and guns in particular have received a much, have received quite a significant damage boost, so that even from the early game, you'll notice tech weapons are really powerful. Like, Obviously, if you shoot a sick wolf with a revolver, he's going to go down. So you'll notice that guns are pretty formidable early on, and particularly if you're trained in, in firearms. But I think this should taper out by the end of the game. Um, so swords and pistols are pretty fast. Mid-range, you're going to see, uh, well, spell casting and grenades are medium speed. So are axes and maces, bows and throwing. The slowest weapons will be your big axes and great swords, things like that. One thing I'm very proud of is I fixed bows, I think. Bows no longer fire like machine guns. These are tattered bowmen. If you remember, they fired like... They were so stupid. And, uh, you know, creatures like... Um, I don't know, like elves with long bows. They would fire like machine guns. Raven would fire like a machine gun. However, now they fire much more reasonably, so bows don't look ridiculous in real time. Armor has also been changed. Um, I've tweaked all the stats of armor. Armor no longer receives such a high magic boost, because I'm trying to cut down on the mage melee overpowered combo. However, due to increased damage all around, damage re resistance is much more important. It's very valuable, um, but it cannot be achieved only with your torso equipment. It's very important that you have a lot of different equipment, that you think about your gloves, think about your boots, think about your shield. 
Shields give a huge AC bonus, but they don't do anything for damage resistance. AC is your chance to get hit, which is what shields reduce. Damage resistance is how you survive after you're hit. So to increase your damage resistance, you need um, really good gloves, helmet, and boots. You need to think about all these things. All of the equipment, likewise, has had its value reduced so that it's harder to become rich. I'm hoping to fix the autonomy of Arcanum. Um, what other changes? Oh, monsters have much higher damage, um, quite a bit higher damage. Poison monsters in particular have received quite a boost. Poison is more of a bastard in this game, so you have to be careful. I think poison was pretty useless before. Monsters have had their spells adjusted. They'll cast more spells. NPCs will definitely cast a lot more spells. The reason they weren't casting spells before is actually not a problem with the AI. It's a problem with the fatigue. NPCs didn't have enough fatigue for the game to want to let them cast spells. Now that they have uh, three times the fatigue, they'll cast a lot more spells. Maloki in hand encounters, bounty hunter encounters, and orc encounters are much more interesting. Maloki in hand in particular are quite formidable. They have randomized high-end equipment and they cast spells, so they will keep you on your toes. I've edited all merchant inventories to create specialization to keep merchants from selling the same things. Um, in general, general stores will not sell magic potions. Magic shops will sell magic potions. Oh, I'm dying. Um, oh, traumatized. There we go, traumatized them. Now they're running away, they drop their weapons, they're both stupid. Um, in general, magic stores will... Magic stores only sell potions, staffs, mage daggers, and scrolls of white necromancy. Dark magic stores sell black necromancy store, uh, potion, scrolls, some potions, and a few hexed items. Magic smiths will sell charmed and magical level equipment, and they will not sell high-end equipment anymore. If you want high-end equipment, you have to find it. Or you have to get it off of these goons. See, they're still fighting a minute later. There we go. Let's see what he had on him. This Malokian hand guy had a sword of air, quality robes, and a filament sword. Eh, it might be a little too much stuff for one guy. I might tone that down. This guy had nothing. <laughs> so it is randomized. I've also increased like the number of monsters you'll encounter in the wild. I, not the number of encounters, but when you encounter them, you'll have more monsters. So random encounters are a little reduced, but when you encounter them, they're much more difficult. Um, what else? Oh, gypsies. Gypsies no longer sell equipment. They sell scrolls and jewelry and some potions. There we go. Traumatize is my favorite new spell. It stupefies disarms and sends enemies fleeing. It might be a little overpowered. I'm going to turn into a werewolf and I'm going to chase after this jerk. Alright, and then the other changes that are significant in this version, there are only a few more changes to point out. Um, as you've noticed, and I haven't talked about, I've added a bunch of new spells. And I didn't do this to be cavalier or to change the spirit of the game. I did this because there were some really stupid spells in the game. Really stupid, useless, broken spells. Things like Nightmare that didn't work properly, um, Unseen Force, etc, etc. So I've added a lot of cool new features. I'm going to make another video with all the spell changes. But uh, Druids can turn into Werewolves. Tranquility, which was Regenerate, actually uh, restores your fatigue. Um, all the summoning spells are different, except for Familiar and Hellgate. Now you you can't summer, summon like sentient intelligent beings like ogres and orcs. That's like slavery. <laughs> now you can summon wisps, dragons, and guardians like you see in white, except this one's pink. So you can summon magical creatures. I think that makes a lot more sense. Um, there's a spell called Flux, which will increase your magical aptitude for 20 seconds to make your spells more powerful. And there's a spell called Dampen Magic, which will decrease your magical aptitude for about 20 seconds. So that high-level mages can ride the train or the metro. Okay, actually, that didn't work. Oh, I need to advance time. 
So it will decrease your magical no. aptitude so you can ride the train temporarily. He might be a little too high level for to work on him. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, we'll tweak that one. Um, so this mage will be able to ride the train. Other changes to point out. Oh, the most contentious change now is fatigue is now called stress. Fatigue is stress and it is a measure of your mental well-being. You need to be mentally fit to cast spells. When you cast spells, it exhausts your mind. Weapons no longer do fatigue damage at all unless they are cursed weapons. Monsters no longer do fatigue damage unless they are high-level undead or demons because they are traumatic. However, on the flip side, fatigue potions are a little harder to find. Therefore, you have to be more conservative with your magic. You have to rest more. You have to plan for dungeon crawls if you want to cast spells. Okay. Um, I think it's a, I think that's a very good change to the game. Some of you might not agree. Um, so overall, I think this mod is a little harder, but not too difficult. I think it's more balanced. Mages will be weaker early in the game. Solo mages might be really difficult until later in the game where they'll be very powerful. Tech will be very powerful early, but it will balance out later. Um, there are a few remaining bugs. I fixed bows, but I could not fix backstabbing. Backstabbing still is way overpowered. The only way to fix this is to, as far as I can tell, is either to edit the game's program or to... The only other way would be to cap the back, backstab skill, maybe to three points instead of five. But this would make the Master Quest impossible, which would cut out content for the game, and I didn't want to do that. Another bug is that... Um, blah blah blah, what was it? Oh, the spell Master Quest and Tola are probably impossible now. Just because you can no longer cast some of the spells because they don't exist anymore. So, that's kind of a problem. I could probably fix that later, I'm just too lazy too right now. Other bugs. Um, there might be like occasional crashes from spells. I haven't noticed any since I've updated everything I've changed. Uh, but I still need playtesters, so this is in a beta. So in a few days, I will put the installation instructions and a link to the files in the description below. And I'm really looking for beta testers to tell me what they think of the mod and how it works and what else needs to be fixed. So I really hope you guys like this. Um, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Okay, I think that's about it to talk about for now. Um, thank you guys so much. Take care.